Hey, Bill Shocker here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Welcome to Tamarindo, Costa Rica. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the middle of green season, which is just another way of saying rain every day. But today is an absolutely spectacular day. Uh, you know, sometimes you get rain uh, that lasts all day. Uh, sometimes it just comes for an hour or so. Uh, today looks like it's going to be a rainless day. The sky is blue. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, everything's green. It is truly a day in paradise in Costa Rica. Okay, so today, the purpose of life, a different perspective. You know, talking with different people, we always start to cajole each other about the meaning of life, the purpose of life, and uh, it becomes a, a very interesting conversation. But I want you to think about this. Ultimately, what is the, the meaning of our life? What is the purpose of it? And correct me if I'm wrong. It's to be happy. All right. Anybody listening to this think that they, the purpose of their life is to be unhappy? The purpose of their life is to be sad? The purpose of their life is to be miserable? The purpose of their life is to be in pain? I don't think so. I mean, ultimately, the purpose in our life is to be happy. Now, if you think about that deeper, that's a personal thing. Because ultimately, happiness is different for different people. Here's an issue that I have found from talking to a lot of people about this exact issue. Many people are unhappy because they have unfulfilled dreams, unfulfilled desires. Guess what? For you unhappy people out there with unfulfilled desires, we all have unfulfilled desires. Happiness, however, is a choice. We can still be happy even though we aren't completely and totally fulfilled. As a matter of fact, I think part of the human condition is to never be completely and totally fulfilled. We always have within us a level of discontentment. Or at least a level of, of what we could consider unfulfillment. Think of it this way. Even if everything is perfect in your life, you go out for a great meal right now, and it was a wonderful meal, it was a memorable meal. What's going to happen in four hours? You're going to be unfulfilled again because you're hungry. <clears throat> the point is, is that our job in life is to be happy, even though there are specific things in our life which are not completely finished yet, which do not show complete levels of satisfaction. There's always disenfranchisement, folks. That's because we are on a journey toward personal development. We're on a journey toward great greatness. And that means there are things in our life that are not complete. But you have to make a choice. I have to make a choice. If that level of non-completeness is going to cause us to be unhappy. This is a kind of a gigantic stone to swallow. Because I know there are times also when I, now I know this from a theoretical basis, but there are times in my life when I, when something happens and I said, oh, I, you know, it, it, it was bad. And I might get down on the dumps, feel unfulfilled. But I try to bounce back as quick as I can. So here's what I want you to think about. Happiness is a choice. You can choose right now to be happy for everything you have. Discontentment means that there are things that we want. Can happiness be the pursuit of those things? Ha ha! Something more to think about. Bill Shocker, thank you for your time. Looking forward to seeing you in the next edition of The 5-Minute Motivator. Bye.